in this video today guys i want to show you guys how you can really set up and use your trust wallet in 2024. now this trust wallet is actually a decentralized wallet and if you're familiar with decentralized wallets they give you full access to all of your assets and full control around what you own unlike using the centralized wallet like the binance wallet the bybit wallet or whatever you know wallet you're using uh there is a case where these guys already have your details and all and you're not in full control of this test yet you get and this is exactly where i want to show you guys how you can quickly set up your trust wallet and also get to send your assets into your trust wallet account now there are a couple of benefits around using the centralized wallets for your cryptocurrency but we are just going to jump in that and go straight into setting up your trust wallet account you want to go over to your app store for example and here you want to search for trust wallet okay so come over here on your app store or even your google play store just look for trust wallet and once you actually see this you can see right here this is the icon uh, that you're looking for and you can download okay so it's either you're downloading this or you're updating if you have an existing wallet in there and then you would already say i'm updating mine because i already have a, a digital wallet inside of here and this is what we basically want to use okay now what you want to do next is actually to proceed with creating an account for yourself on here right so they're going to be asking you for a couple of password details and all which you can include just to secure your account and you can proceed to create a new wallet as you can see on my screen here it's asking to create a new wallet and now you have some options here where you're either setting up a secret freeze or you're setting up via the swift now swift is definitely um uh, an, an update from the trust wallet that actually you know uh focuses on you know giving you more access as you can see on here uh for security it's great and cover your wallet face id and fingerprints are done automatically with your device pass key for transaction and also for fees right for your secrets phase you have security transaction and also fees as well but let's just start with our secret phase option which you want to create now we're going to be coming over to this uh next page where it's asking us that we back up manually or back up to icloud but then you actually have the option to skip now you have the option to skip but don't skip because you want to do a backup now when you click on backup manually they're going to be sharing with you a couple of secret phrases which most probably you can easily write out or you want to back up to icloud where icloud basically helps you to back up now i actually don't want to back up to any online device i want to back up manually <laughs> so i'm going to click on this right now and it's actually giving me all of this where the secret phrase is your master key to your wallet and all now let me just quickly explain the secret phrase to you so that you actually understand it now for every decentralized wallet you don't need any password any longer details your secret phrase is the only thing you need in order to access a wallet right now it's very important and as, and as important as where you have one single key to open a lock right and if you give that key to any other person that person also has access to a lock so if your wallet is like a lock you actually want to guard that particular key safe and you make sure that you are able to secure that key without any other person seeing it or accessing it right in this case they would give you about 12 letter words that you need to actually keep safe in order to follow through with accessing or importing your wallet at any time so let's check on this trust wallet does not keep my single face this and this once you have that done you can actually click on continue and as you can see on here it is already showing my secret phrase and these are actually 12 words in the order that i can actually get to use and access to my wallet at any point in time okay so if you're like me i'm not going to share with a pen and write a lot of this or copy and paste it in a very secure place where i know that i can only access okay now once you have this uh already copied out or stored somewhere you can simply just click on continue because when you click on continue it's going to ask you a couple of questions what is what six what seven what ten and what twelve so i'm going to proceed to just tap on which word it is correctly and then i can now move on so what six is this word seven is this word ten is this and what 12 is this so once i've done that i'll click on confirm and i'm clicking on confirm right here um uh my wallet is going to be created and i can actually start using trust wallet so you can actually see it's written with my board i can actually start using trust wallet now once you're inside of here uh you actually can get the 
main page and you can see your wallet balance 0000 you can see all of the cryptocurrencies that you can easily access on here and i can click on manage crypto to give me access to more cryptocurrencies and you notice that whichever one i just tap comes up on page for example i'm tapping on dogecoin when i go back here and you can see dogecoin already showing up here okay at the same time i can also disable any of them now uh there are a couple of you can see the menu on the bottom section so this is the home you can go over to swap and this is exactly where you can really swap from one cryptocurrency to the other right uh based on what you want to do so let's say i actually want to swap my usdt to ethereum for example you can see that if i have like 5000 usdt i can swap it over to getting about you know 1.3 you know ethereum okay where one ethereum is about three thousand eight hundred dollars currently today but then i have insufficient balance okay um let us click this away so we can actually go over to the next section here where they say end and here you can see a couple of different projects that you can actually stick and um, sticking them you can see the fbr and also we have the option to discover where you can get a couple of information around whatever um news is around uh trust wallet and the cryptocurrencies all right let's go back to home now you're going to be seeing here this particular section that uh you are going to be able to send to receive buy sell and you also get your history now your wallet is zero 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 so you're not sending you want to receive right so on receiving you want to click on receive and on clicking on receive right here you can actually see the different networks that you can receive through so for example i actually want to receive usdt from somebody it's important to actually note that this is usdt but then you can see that there are now different chains of usdt okay uh so let's say i want to receive usdt via the tron chain okay i will have to then look for usdt tron so this is the theta so you can see it here this is it okay so now if i'm going to receiving usdt via the ethereum uh chain let's go and look for that now this is it right here as you can see and there's a different wallet address that has been brought up for me now it's also important to know that whatever uh, blockchain that you are receiving any currency on you also need to have some amount of that particular cryptocurrency as gas for example if you're receiving usdt tron right then you should have some tron in your wallet so that it would actually serve as you know um, your gas fee and all if you're receiving usdt ethereum you should have some ethereum in your wallet so it can be able to be served as gas at the same time if you're receiving usdt let's say bnb right that bb20 you need to have some bnb you know in your wallet so that you can actually use that as a gas fee else you won't be able to send out funds from your trust wallet now for you to also note whatever you know blockchain you are actually getting a cryptocurrency from it's important to usually just you know uh, based on whatever crypto you're receiving for example let's say you are doing uh usdt there are a couple of different uh chains there so you see so this is polygon this is avalanche this is ethereum this is bmd smart chain you know this is abithrom this is solana this is you know whatever it is just make sure if it's solana you have some solana in your trust wallet as well that serves as gas so for example let me show you guys one wallet where i have a couple of funds in uh, as you can see this wallet i have about 562 dollars but then when you look here you can see right here for the usdt this is on the bnb smart chain i have about 500 dollars but then i have some bnb for my gas about 30 dollars worth of bnb that's about 0.05 bnb at the same time i also have about uh 261 tron which is also going to serve as gas fee for in case i get to receive usdt via the tron chain i can actually you know get to still you know send out and you know uh transact with the money i have in my wallet now this is quite important to do this and it is going to be basically helpful for you now trust wallet still serves as one of those decentralized wallets that you most probably would want to have and if you're looking for the best way to actually secure your funds especially when it comes to crypto you need something that is more personal something that gives you total control of your assets then you actually want to get started with trust wallet okay now this is it for this video today guys i hope you actually learned a lot around this uh do make sure to leave me your questions your concerns in the comment section below i will definitely get to guide you and walk you through any of those contents you have also do well to make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel as much as the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my subsequent videos with these guys i'll see you in my next video peace